right. I'd like to open up with a prayer, to be honest with you. So, if you don't mind, I'll pray up here. <laughs> Lord, I pray that it's not my words come forth, but it's your words, Lord. And, and what they hear today is from you, not me and what I want to say, Lord. But I want it to be what you want them to hear. And Lord, I just thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to stand before them and preach, Lord. And I just thank you for everything that you made possible. Amen. 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 But uh, today I'd like to talk on some change in our lives. But uh, I'd like to read out of Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. We'll stand for reading the word. It says, Be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to, to be honored by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. You may be seated. Sometimes I, we stand proudly to be doing something for somebody. But sometimes we need to back off and do it in secrecy Amen. so God can reward us. But not for everybody on the street to say, oh boy, look what you did. <laughs> but we need to do it for God. We need to do it for the Lord, yeah. not for other people. Right. Not for them to see us, what we do. And we need to stand alert on our actions. We need to change and stay alert what we do because actions come so quickly that you don't realize what you did so after you did it or said it. That's right. <laughs> so I think we need to change the way we, we you know, think. Maybe we need to count to five before we say something. Amen. And before you get to number five, you might realize, hmm, I better not say that. I better hold my tongue. Amen. And I think we need to change on living right when nobody's there. Living for God when God when nobody else is there but God. Amen. That means in the house by yourself. Amen. That means when everybody else is gone, you're standing in your front yard and you don't think nobody's watching, but God's always there. <laughs> but I think we need to start living like that. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, the whole focus point of this ser sermon is is that we need to change how we live because you know, a lot of people are living in a, in a state of mind of like, well, let me go to church. Let me act spiritual. Let me show them a good show. But when we go home, that's when we need to live spiritual by ourselves. Because God's always there. Amen. Just because men think you look good don't mean nothing. It's Amen. what God thinks. Amen. And that's the reason I'm, I'm preaching this today because I think a lot of people need to including me, I need to work on being more spiritual at home than I do at church. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, there's a, I, I've talked to somebody not too long ago, and this is when it struck me. This is why I'm, I'm doing this, because I was talking to them, and they said, we don't go to church. I said, why don't you go to church? She goes, well, my husband don't like it because there's so many people that act different at church than at home. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason we don't go to church. Yeah. And I told them, I said, you need to find a real church then. You need to find a church that they act the same way outside than inside. Mm -hmm. But Matthew 6, 3 and 4 says, But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. I mean, that should be strong right there to let you know that it's not what about, I, I don't care what y'all think, but I do. I really don't care. I, I care about what God thinks I do. Amen. Amen. And that's what I strive for, is what God thinks. I, I really, if you hate me, oh well. It's what God thinks, not what y'all think. And that's what I'm striving for through life. Because I've noticed when you read here, you read back and Elijah, Elijah, you know, you read all these people in the Bible and a lot of people go, oh, those are great men. No, they serve the Lord. That's the same thing we can do. We can do the same thing they did. But we just have to serve like they did. Amen. They did not serve to show a man in the city how they look. Amen. They served to serve God. They was out in the desert and they served God. Right. 
They went out in the desert saying, look at me, look at me. They were serving God. And that's the reason God rewarded them. That's the reason they received the blessings that they received in the Bible. Amen. Because they stood strong and they believed in the Lord. Amen. In Matthew 6, 25, it says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about, what, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? That's, that's another thing we need to work on is, is we don't need to worry about what's today. We don't need to worry about what's tomorrow. God will take care of that as we serve Him. If we do what the Lord wants us to do, He will take care of all our needs. Amen. And I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to go out, well, I'm going to give you a million dollars. You know, you might not get a million dollars, but God will take care of you. Right. God will make sure you're fed. God will make sure you have clothes on your back. It says in the Bible about the birds. They don't worry about it because God takes care of the birds. Amen. Won't he take care of us? That's what it talks about. Amen. And that's what we need to look at. You know, we we might have bigger minds than birds, but sometimes our minds don't think as good as birds. And the birds don't worry about what they're getting. We do. That's right. That's right. We need to change our old habits. Throw some of those habits out. Search your life and figure out what habits you have that's hindering you in the walk of God. Because there's a lot of habits that people have that they do not want to set aside because they love it. And that's the reason they're having trouble on their uh, spiritual walk. Because the habits they have is hinder them. And sometimes you're going to have to take those habits and, and, and give them away. And you'll learn when you give your habits to go away and you give it to God, you won't want those habits back. You don't need them no more. Amen. Just like the pastor talks, he, he quit drinking. You know, God saved him from that. And he can look back now, today, and say, I do not need that no more. And I do not want it back. And that's the old habit that he gave up to God. And Matthew 7, 1 and 2 says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Amen. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. We need to stop judging other people in their spiritual walk. Because we look at people and say, we look at them, they're not really walking like they should. Are we? Right. Do you want them to measure us the same way? Amen. Because I'm sure every person in this room, including me, you can find something wrong. Okay. And you can say, well, look at them, this is what they're doing. Right. Everybody has their own troubles. And everybody has to work on their own troubles. So, I, I mean, I'm standing here today to say, do not judge what they're doing. Because you don't know what they're doing. With this, or you don't know their prayer life with God. Because they have something with God that, between them and God. Not you, God, and them. Amen. It's between all of them and God. That's it. On, that's There's nobody right. else that should be in the situation. Because there's troubles I have that's me, I might look at it and say, well, that's not very bad. That's just something I need to deal with God. Now, somebody else standing over here going, man, look at him. This is horrible. But in their life, they've got something they're working on just as bad. It, there's no little white lie. A lie is a lie. So you sitting there looking at, well, this is a little white lie. I said, but what they said, mm -mm, it's a lie is a lie. Murder is murder. And that's what we got to look at because a lot of people want to judge others yeah. on what they're doing. But they don't want to stand strong and say, well, you know, what I'm doing is pretty bad too. I need to work on myself. Because that's what we need to get to. That's where we need to be. We need to be to that point where we say, let's work on what I need to work on, not what they need to work on. Because me saving somebody comes through that door or telling them what they're doing wrong is not going to get me to heaven. Right. What's going to get me to heaven is me Dealing with God. Amen. And that's where we need to be. That's where we need to be in the spiritual walk. We need to be to the point that we are looking at our lives and trying to get ourselves to heaven. Amen. 